I, I am fairly patient uh, in everything as far as that's concerned. I see myself as a teacher first, but at the same time, uh, I'm not afraid to get after somebody if, if, if need be, but I don't think I'm just going to yell for the sake of yelling. It's really more trying to get these guys to be the best that they can be. Run, run. That's it. Good job. Who's going to knock somebody over? Let's go. That's what I want to see. Say, hip. What do you got? That's right. Okay, again, no up call. You're automatically sliding out. Never will go down inside like you Ready? do on sprint. Everybody else is the same. Don't, you're there. You got it? Yep. Pump your arms tight to the body. Here we go. Left foot, left foot. Sit. Hit. Eyes up. I want to see your eyes. Ready? Sit. Run, run. That's it. Punch, punch. I try and uh, get with guys and like I say, you try and make them better, make them be the best that they can be. And each individual is a little bit different uh, and try and get the best out of them. So some guys may need, you know, me actually respond better when you're getting after them. Other guys, you do that and they kind of go in a shell. So you have to kind of get a feel for who you're dealing with and, and try and make them, you know, make them to become the best player they could be. Here we go. Same thing, Dan. Don't get happy feet. Kick, slide, keep that foot in the ground. There you go. Good pass. More of it. Don't clamp, punch. Don't clamp, punch it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta take that guy, right? He comes, he's yours. You're only kicking out unless they both come. You got the inside threat. Yeah. For though he's a good coach, and I think I would say he pays a lot of attention to technique. That's what we do, fundamentals. A lot of zone step, really just first steps, first few steps. That's where he's really big on that we do that correctly. Feet, 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 feet. Keep your feet in the ground. That's it. Does it feel more like you can, when you punch, you got something underneath you? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. why you, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say slower feet, but it's like post not and slide, not just, you know, yeah. fear, because then when you make contact, you got, you know, feet aren't in the oh. ground, you can't you brace yourself. I think technique is very important, particularly the offensive line. That along with, at the same time, being real physical. I think we're definitely, we're, we're getting better. I mean, that's one thing, I keep looking at the film, we've progressed, we're starting to come together uh, as a unit. I think really when you're coaching the offensive line, the, the big thing that I try and really stress with these guys is it's, you know, it's what's up front that counts. Um, that we've got to do a great job up front, um, whether it's protecting the quarterback and we're throwing the, the ball, or in a situation where we're running the football, we're going to come off and be physical and, and get after people. Uh, it doesn't make any difference, but if we don't block people, it doesn't really matter how good your skill is. So uh, our job sometimes can be thankless, but at the same time, you know, to me, that those guys are the heart and soul of your, you know, your offense, and uh, you better be good up front if you want to be a good football team consistently. Don't take and you make your punch and bring all your hands all the way back here. Keep money right here, back. Better, Jack. Explode, though, explode. Sit, hit. Who's got some explosiveness to him? That's it. Our job up front, and I'm trying to you know, relate to our players, is that, hey, if we do our job, we're gonna score points. And that's the bottom line, what it's all about.